The younger puppies are now 11 weeks old, and both David and the children are on the lookout for a sign that one of them possesses that extra bit of intelligence for the future. First to come to attention is Ernie, so called because of a small umbilical hernia present from birth. Ernie has learnt to jump out of the low puppy run, cross the yard and arrive at the house. He's built up a good relationship with young Nicholas, which seems to be based on brotherly rough and tumble. <coughs> Ernie is more than keen to join his human family on a trip to feed the children's old pony, Copper. In true sheepdog style, however, his attention is soon drawn to a small group of training sheep and his reaction is plain to see. He is much calmer than Fern was on her first introduction to the ewes. Ernie's behavior holds great promise, and he has effectively chosen himself to be one of the two pups to remain at the farm. And all these new experiences have built up quite an appetite. June arrives, and with it, the summer heat. Thick woolen coats, so effective against the winter wind and rain, have now become a burden. The shearing season has been prolonged by weeks of bad weather, but at last, a fine forecast means the Mort Point flock can be gathered in. The best time to start the morning gather is sunrise, for in the heat of the day, ewes and lambs will look for shade under the gorse bushes, which cover most of the point and will be that much harder to find. With only the local fishermen to share the glorious June morning, a time like this is one of the true joys of the shepherd's year. As always, local bird life is much in evidence around the point, with cormorant, stonechat and kestrel up bright and early on this summer's day.